too loud, yeah. Yeah, it's too loud. It's about to go, and I think you can't adjust it because I tried to do the same thing. Uh, he just did adjust it. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Oh, it would be hard to hear with this down, huh? Yeah. I'll just I'll shout at you. To you darling, yeah. Oh, that's 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 a signature. Thirty seconds. Lloyd's back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, stand by. Twenty. And Miss Eurovision, Julia Zamiro joins us now live during rehearsal. What can you say about this year's performance? How does it stack up to the previous Eurovisions you've covered for SBS? Uh, as Jess said, the exciting thing is that it's not in a sports stadium. It's in this incredible building that they have purpose kind of put together and custom put together. And it's kind of enormous and a bit rough outside. It's like being in a shipping yard outside and being the most amazing High tech, an Olympic ceremony. It feels like an Olympic ceremony. I just want to dance. I don't know about no, you guys. No. Uh, who, who are the favourites this year? Who are we expecting to uh, take out the Eurovision glory? Armenia is a favourite. Sweden is a big, big favourite. And if it went back to Sweden, um, it would be the 60th anniversary of Eurovision back in Sweden, which would be great. Um, but this, the UK, Molly is amazing. So you never know. They might actually crack the top five. Jess, you're the first guest performer not from a European <laughs> Union nation. It's your moment. We can't wait to watch it on SBS. A message for the family and fans back home just finally. Yeah, look, I can't wait to come back home, but please enjoy through the TV. Everyone watching, we love you. Represent. Bless you all. Have fun. Okay, there you have it. Jessica Malboy, live from Eurovision. Back to you, Janice and Tomo. Yes, thank you. Well done, nice work.